rate or heart rate can be assessed by taking it with a stethoscope. If you don't have a stethoscope, you need to find a place to, to uh, feel the pulse. And the best place to find that on a horse is right in front of this muscle right here because the facial artery comes right from underneath the jaw over the bottom of the jawbone and up right along the front surface of this, of this muscle. So if I feel for it right here, I'll feel a little bump right there going this way. To try and feel that with my finger would be difficult, so I'm going to lay my hand here on the opposite side, feel for the, the artery right there and feel it going back and forth under my finger between my finger and the bone and then I can just lay my finger right along the length of it. So one of the things that happens is the horses go to chewing and moving their jaw and it's difficult to stay on it so it's easier with your hand on this side to stay with them and for them to relax. Normal is 36 and oftentimes when I'm handling their head at first they're going to elevate their pulse just a little bit so 48 wouldn't be bad. I'm going to count for 15 seconds and I'll expect there should be 9 and multiply by 4 and that's 36. 1, 2, about 15 seconds so that's he's right on the money. If you happen to have a stethoscope the best place to listen is right here behind the elbow on the left side in this flat spot right in here. Right there. If you go too far back you're going to miss it. You go too low you'll miss it. You go too far forward well, you're going to have trouble with that. If you go too high, you'll miss it. So right behind the point of the elbow in that flat spot. The biggest problem is it's not as brisk and sharp a pulse as a human pulse. It's a kind of a slow roller. So be patient, relax. If you can find the artery, you can find the right spot. Lay your finger on there, as I said, with the same pressure you would feel for your own pulse and be patient. <laughs>